gonna continue with my jump rope videos. And this video is going to be mostly for my first graders um, who haven't really learned how to uh, individually jump rope yet. And I know we started this with a couple of the classes um, before we went out of school, um, but I think I only got to like two classes. We did some rope jumping on the ground and then we worked on turning our ropes. Um, but I wanted to just give a video just about the steps for learning how to individual jump rope for those of us who don't have it down yet, haven't mastered it. So the first thing is actually, I'm gonna not even use my rope yet. I'm just gonna to toss it down there because the first thing I really wanna work on is just making sure I'm doing good jumps. And I think probably the best way to learn um, would be with our feet together. So what I always tell my first graders is we're gonna glue our feet together so they stay super close together. And we're just gonna practice jumping. And now when we jump, we wanna make sure we bend our knees and we're jumping on our toes. You can see it'd be on my toes when I'm jumping. Just like that, straight up. I don't wanna jump forward. I wanna stay in one spot. And I'm just gonna jump. And we can use our individual rope for this. Or I mean our individual. We can use our invisible rope for this. And so I'm not gonna use a rope at all, but I'm gonna pretend I have one. So I'm gonna put my hands at my sides where I would hold my handles just like this. And when I'm turning a rope, you want to turn with your wrist, not big, giant arms. We don't want to turn big arms like this. That's what I see a lot of our new jump ropers doing. So we want to make sure we have our hands, our elbows kind of at our sides, and our arms bent like this. And we're just going to jump like this. So I turn, I turn, and then jump, turn, jump, turn, jump. I got my feet together. I'm jumping on my toes, I'll do it sideways so you can see my jump, 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 just like that. So invisible rope jumping is fine. If you don't have a jump rope, this is a good exercise still, right? Be fast. I could do really fast. Okay, just like that. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna get my jump rope. And um, I did another video about um the jump, jump rope tricks for kind of more for the upper grades. And I talked about rope size, but we can talk about that here now too, is I'm just gonna put the rope underneath my feet like this and hold it up like this. I know I've got a glare behind me from the window, so maybe I'll come up a little closer so you can see. And you want the rope to kind of go to your armpits, just about like this. Um, and that means it's a good size for you. If you have like a really um, big rope, and like it's going super high. Um, like I have another one, I'm gonna grab it real fast. So this is a rope I bought at Target and it's a speed rope. Oops, it's a little tangled, but there we go. It's a little bit higher than this one. I actually like the shorter rope, uh, but this is probably just a tad bit too long for me, but um, I can jump up with either one. I'm going to use the smaller one. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the rope at your sides, just like we pretended before with when we didn't have a rope in our hands, and glue those feet together and make sure you're on your toes. But the first thing we're going to do is just practice turning the rope. So I'm not even going to jump yet. I'm just going to use my wrist, and I'm going to put the rope over my head just like this. I'll see back a little bit so you can see step over the rope and I'm just going to practice turning it. Oops, <laughs> I hit my foot. Turn. Turn. Now the number one mistake that I see is when people are just learning to jump or when kids are just learning to jump is that um, they'll do the turn and jump at the same time. So that usually looks like this. So I'll turn my rope and jump at the same time. And now by the time the rope gets down to my feet, I've already landed on the ground. So the rope can't go under my feet, get stuck in front. So I want to make sure I time my jump. Okay, so then when I turn it, I'm jumping over. So it's kind of like turn and jump, right? Turn and jump. Turn and jump, okay? And that's how we practiced it with the first graders that already started this. We said turn and jump. Um, one way you can practice your, your timing is you can hold the rope in one hand and you can hold it off to your side 
And you can just, I'm just gonna show you spin it first. You just kind of spin, I'll move sideways so you can see. I'm just spinning the rope. And I'm just gonna time my jump, so. Actually jumping over the rope I'm just timing it so that when the rope is coming down towards my feet I'm jumping and I'm not having to worry about it tangling all around my feet jump 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 okay good so once I get that down and I've practiced turning it so I'm getting like I'm remembering I, this is kind of training you when I do this just turning it over not to jump at the same time Okay, because a lot of us, we just have that habit that we want to jump when we turn, but we don't want to do that. Okay, so once I get that down, I've practiced. Now I can start um, jumping over the rope. So I'm just going to do one at a time. So turn and jump, turn and jump, turn and jump. And remember, it helps you to say, turn, my son just walked in. Hi, Holden, I'm making a jump rope video. So I'm going to turn and jump, turn, and jump, just like that, okay? And then when you get that down, you can start going a bunch in a row. Turn, and jump, jump, and jump, 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 just like that. Okay, so that's a video just kind of teaching you the steps on how to, uh, say hi, Holden. Hi. That's a video just teaching you the steps on how to learn how to jump rope. Okay. Good luck jumping. Mama, can I try?